Hello guys and welcome back to your Wello break with Bess. Your chance to take five minutes out of your day and exercise the right hand side of your brain. You've been busy working, I'm sure, overthinking and strategizing. So let's give ourselves a bit of a shakedown and give ourselves a bit of creative exercise. What you need is something to draw with and something to draw on. Now, we all know that finding great people is the scarcest commodity in business. Are you ready? Let's go. So we're going to start. We're going to go draw up and we're going to go back down and then we're going to go back up and we're going to go back down. You've created a kind of double hump like a camel. And like I say, it's not the customers. It's not the technology. It's the people and it's getting the right people that makes a successful business. Behind our hump, I want you to do a series of triangles, as many as you want. Hopefully you're starting to see something emerge. If I put these wobbly lines underneath the tips of those triangles, it starts to look like hopefully snow-capped mountains. Those wobbly lines can be any way you want them to be, don't have to be perfect at all. Great leaders, they say, aren't born, but they're made. And great teams aren't created, they're nurtured. And you guys are a great team. And creating time out for these wellow breaks is really important. We want to nurture you and keep you happy. So, up here, above your two mountains, we're going to start off a little bit above and I want you to do a triangle floating above each of the mountains. We're going to make them look pretty similar. Up the top of those triangles, we're going to do a small circle either side and then I want you to put a dot inside the circles. These wellow breaks that I'm doing for you, now a little oval that are coloured in underneath the triangle, are not really about your drawing skill, guys. So I don't want you to panic and stress and worry. It's really about giving you the chance just to have a go, to creatively think about something while I chat away and really just draw without really thinking. Now, around our oval, we're going to do a series of lines in a kind of tear shop, teardrop shape. And I want them to be scruffy. So we're going to start like this and we're going to bring it down into a, a point and the same the other side. Just little flicky lines into a long point. This one, the same, doesn't matter if they're not identical. Down to a long point. Starting to look a bit strange, I know, but that's okay. Now, I want you to do the letter C, but I want it to be like it's been squished and it goes up and down. And you're gonna do a reverse version on this side, so out and down. And you're gonna repeat that shape on our other mountain. So backwards C, a squishy backwards C, and reverse the other way. Finding great people is really important. It's not, well, it's a big debate, isn't it? Is it? the great company that you go to work for, or is it great people who work for them? One attracts the others. One doesn't exist without the other though. You can't have great people working for a great company. You can't have a great company unless you've got great people working. It's a big conundrum. Okay, on top of these letter C's, we're gonna do a smaller version and it's gonna be a bit more horizontal. Letter C back that way, reverse that way. Very simple. Let us see that way, reverse that way. You're kind of thinking, what are we drawing? Looks a bit like a frog, and absolutely. Now, at the end of these letter C's, the top ones, we're gonna do a couple of ovals popping down. Doesn't matter how perfect they are either. And now two little circles at the bottom of these. <laughs> 
And finally, when we do this last bit, hopefully it will really start to make sense. Now, I want you to be quite crazy and quite free with this. So I'm going to kind of do long, spiky lines. What we're drawing is a couple of yoga masters. Our yoga masters are perched on top of our high Nepalese hills, or maybe they're down at Threadbow. <laughs> Not much snow down there at the moment though, I think. So these are our two yoga masters doing their lotus pose on top of our mountains. Let's add in some curly clouds, maybe a couple of birds flying high in the sky. And above them, they're gonna have a couple of think bubbles. So just like a giant cloud, just give yourself that big curvy shape and the one above him, so a couple of circles, then a couple of think bubbles. And like I said, the question is, is it a great company to work for or is it great people that are attracted by the great company? One is symbiotic to the other. In this question, we're going to do a triangle and a backwards C. Now I'm going to do an oval with a triangle on the end. Stick, stick, three little lines and an I. Of course, I'm drawing a chicken. And the big debate in the yoga master's world is what came first the chicken or the egg. In business, what came first? A great company or great people? I think one doesn't exist without the other, but a great company is only made by great people. Great people, of course, make great teams. And great teams, of course, build success. So there's your little yoga master drawing for today, people. You are part of that great team. You are giving us great success. And I want to thank you for being great people. I'll see you next time for another Wello Break.